This is so crazy how this mobster is making a deal with me, trying to get me to help him. And the thing is, I just, I don't know, why would I want to work with a criminal? You, you know what I mean? A woman's fragrance. Almost angelical. Huh. Interesting. <gasps> Mary? At Bobby L's place? What the hell was she doing over there? Let's look in the fridge. I want to see if there's food. I'm not sure how Yale's love of pickles will help me crack the case, but it's good to know. Damn, he has a refrigerator full of pickles. Okay. Bobby seems like a nice kid, but I... I barely know him. And yet you hung out with him at the at the park. Okay, Mary. Okay, Mary. She's lying. She is lying. Ooh, okay. All right. What's the new deduction? Uh, Mary has a cold. Because she went to the park with Yale. And the scarf is at the place. That means she's been here recently. But why? What does Sweet Mary have to do with Yale, the murder suspect? I can't believe she would lie about Yale. Wow. So you think she was trying to play Joe? At this point, she could be a potential murder suspect. Because if she's able to lie about that tiny little detail, what else would she be lying about? Mala Mayer, uh, La Fonte today. 17th century French fables. Mayer must be one boring old lady. Oh, I got another card. Sweet. Okay, so I'm still shocked at the fact that Mary lied. Like, really? The worst thing about O'Leary's boys dropping by isn't the beating, but the fact that I can't tell what's theirs and what's Yale's. Doesn't seem like the best food for a boxer. Then again, it could be your classic bookie thug lunch. Okay. Yeah, that could be it, especially since Yale is a athlete, so he wouldn't compromise his diet like that. <sighs> Nasty. Well, Chino doesn't know how to wash his fucking dishes. Let me search in the bedroom. He do that? He actually did that. Huh. Ooh. I like collecting cards. It's pretty cute. He has a whole bunch in the apartment, though. Beds unmade. Seems like Bobby inherited something more than boxing skills from his father. Besides the tendency to vanish into thin air, of course. Damn, that shade is real. Nice chain. Where is it? Where's the chain? Michel Poussini? So, you like your mob stories, don't you, Bobby? Huh. Interesting. What's in the closet? Why would you want such a big closet for so few clothes? Maybe to... Unless someone emptied it recently. Mm -hmm. Maybe to hide a dead body too. Who knows? Who 
Who knows? Complete poems. Copy one of three. Do you know any of his relatives? Is his father ever, ever, Avenarius? Avenarius? The boxer poet? Didn't he disappear 20 years ago? He's doing the same thing his dad did. Yep, like father, like son. I'm not surprised. This is a big ass bathroom. Judging by the general state of the apartment, they were leading a quiet life. Okay. I gotta admit, this bathroom is unusually big. I don't I don't know how I feel about that. Bathtub is right there. Okay. So that's it. That's all I can ever muster here. You know what? I should be grimy enough to just leave through the window. Just so O'Weary can't find me. What do you think? Should I? Would I? Could I? Just to be salty. That way O'Weary can come and try and whoop my ass again. Who knows? I don't see any other clues. But it's good to know that Mary... Mary left her scarf here. Which, I'm gonna need to talk to her as to why she lied to me about the whole thing. So with that being said, I'm gonna go out the window. I don't wanna face them. Let's go. With people like O'Leary, you just never know. I didn't want to put Mary at risk. Exactly. Take her a little something instead. Mary, open the door. You lying ass. I've never trusted angels. Mr. Black's hat? What a- your, your scarf. Surprise. When they fall, they turn into demons. Joey told me he was going to spend the afternoon painting the gym and that Bobby would be fixing something up on the roof. So, after I found the body and called the police, I went to Bobby's place, but he wasn't there. Okay, two options. Let me see. So you knew that Yale was with Dunn when he died, and yet you told no one. Why? I guess I just forgot. No, you didn't. Everything is so confusing. No, I'm sorry, it's not. Mr. Black said. You should be Don't sorry. Be. I'm here to figure it all out. What's your relationship with Bobby Yale? He was like a son to Joey, and we were about to get married, so, you know. Okay, I think it's time to set things straight. I know you were cheating on Dunn with Yale. Or was it the other way around? No! How can you even think of something like that? How can you convince me otherwise? Yeah, you left your scarf at his place. I found a picture at Yale's apartment. It's you of and him you. on a roller coaster. Yup. Confess. Can't Come on. Explain, Miss Purnell. Come on, I'm Mary. I'm not white, Mr. Black said. What? Seven of my great grandparents were white. The eighth was black. According to law, I'm a black citizen, even if my skin says the contrary. Do you know what that means when you're born in North Arlington, Alabama? Um. Segregated housing, with far worse homes for colored people. We even have different water fountains, for God's sake. The separate but equal doctrine and all that. That garbage. And all the lies. That's why I moved here. No one knows what color my great-grandparents were. 
I'm black too, and I don't hide it. Well, at least you're a man. In what? any case, what's that have to do with Bobby Yale? He's my nephew, Mr. Blackside. Joe and I first started taking care of poor Bobby when my sister died. That was when he was almost 15. The three of us went on that trip to Luna Park. So this is where Joe Dunn comes in. Bobby was the only one who knew about me and Joey. We were afraid that someone would use my past to ruin his career. It's not the first time I hear that story. I'm sorry I accused you so lightly. Don't worry, I understand. Wow, okay. About Sonia Dunn and the ring. Well, I told her about you and Joe Dunn. I had no choice. And what did she say? Oh, she I was pissed. I don't think she took it too well. She was angry. But she might come to understand it. Maybe. But I'm not so sure you'll be able to keep my other secrets safe. Okay, so she wasn't cheating, which is good. That's why I decided to apologize to her. Um, this is a really interesting revelation, honestly. What am I looking at? Mary smells like... Actually, the whole room smells like a pie fresh out of the oven. So I can't identify any other fragrances. Interesting how... Black Sad uses all of his senses. Okay, what, what else am I looking at here? Should I... I'm trying to think of any other areas for me to take a look at. No? Oh, I found something. Hold on. Come on. No, 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 no. I, I was in the right place. Come on. Tell me. Let me zoom in again. Hold on. Where? Oh! Wait. Right here? TV and radio all in one. Where will these mad times lead us? Wait, you're concentrating on our TV? Come on, man. Okay. Here? Fresh out of the oven. The whole room smells like pie. Okay, that's where the scent comes in. So I have one more clue for me to look at here. Ooh. Femininity starts at home. Belinda S. Lovelace. All right, that's it. That cherry pie smells so good. I'm starting to get hungry. Thanks. I pulled it out of the oven right before you arrived. Oh, where are my manners? I'm the worst hostess in the world. Wait, am I getting some pie? Hell yeah, I'll take some. I mean, I'm surprised you won't really feed me kitchen. after I accused you of cheating. But you know what? You're a bigger person than me, that's for sure. And you must be thirsty. Uh, let me see. OJ? Coffee? Orange juice. OJ is fine, thanks. Let me see here. She's wearing the same clothes in both pictures. So she's probably telling the truth. She, okay. She is, obviously. I'll take that. What are you listening to or looking out for? Sorry, I was going to help you with that. Mary? Damn, that's a thick ass slice of pie. I know she has something to say to me, I can tell. Black Sad, you did not eat the whole pie, bro. 
Did she even have a slice or a piece? Damn, you really are hungry. I'm I'm really uncomfortable at the fact that she's staring at me while I eat. About Sonya Dunn and the ring, I managed to hide the truth from her. I appreciate it, but at the same time... What? No, nothing. Maybe... Maybe she has a right to know. Your secret is safe with me. I'd like to believe you. You should open a bakery and sell these pies. <laughs> Thanks. Joey used to say the same thing. Aww. Is there new clues? Oh, there's new clues. Okay, let me see. Damn, look at that spoon. Med air. That is so funny. Wait, what is that? Hold on. Am I not seeing... Wait. Something? Now that there's almost no pie left, the scent has also disappeared. Interesting. Now Mary smells like a huge dog. Mary, when are you going to stop lying? I know your nephew is here. I can smell him. What? No. I already told you I don't know where he is. Look, I understand why you're protecting him, but it's in his best interest to end this hide-and-seek. You can search the whole house if you want. Go ahead. He's not here. Wow. Sad challenge. Look, if he's making you do this, just tell me. I'll protect you. Bobby would never do that. If he's not here right now, he must have left shortly before I got here. Where did he go? Where shortly is he? before you got here? I yep. wish. Mary, come on, man. Mary, come on. Where's he at? Where's Bobby? Mary. Wait a minute. She's not the one who smells like that. Really? All right. My last clue would be right here, right? Oh. He's right here? That's where Bobby Yale's scent is coming from. Mm. Move out the way, Mary. So, that's where you were sitting there. What? I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, you do. Move out Could the you way, step please. step aside so I can check, please? Thank you. <sighs> please go. Whoa! Mary, for Christ's sake, put that knife Mary. down. Mary! Leave Aura. Come on, Mary. You don't have to do this, Mary. I mean it. I don't want to hurt you. Oh, shit. <laughs> Woo! I knew it. He was hiding. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Come on. Okay, what do I do now? Mary is freaking out. I mean, I get it. You're trying to help your... Ooh, fuck. Right here. No. Come on, man. Stop punching me. Come on. Right here. Right? Okay, I'll take this. Thank you. Shit. Ooh. Come on, man. This is the third time I'm getting beat. For what? Come on, stop. Come on. Shit. I'm gonna kill you. I'm on your side, Bobby. But I'm not on yours. Oh, fuck me, bro. Oh, shit. This is crazy. Come on, man. Stop beating me. I'm, I'm really on your side. I'm not trying to hurt you. Come on. Thank you. Shit. 
Ooh. And then I have to deal with Mary with her knife. Bobby! Call an ambulance. Do as I say. Go on, call an ambulance. Do it now. In the face of a heart attack, there's two things you can't forget. What? The chest compressions, right? One, stay calm. Two, one chest compression per second. Let's go. One Mississippi. <gasps> Two Mississippi. <gasps> Three Mississippi. <gasps> Four Mississippi. <gasps> Five Mississippi. Bobby. <gasps> oh, Bobby. <gasps> Thank you, Bobby. <gasps> Bobby. Thank you. Now I know where Bobby is. He's been at Mary's apartment the whole time. I had lots of reasons to consider this a great day. I had investigated a suicide case. I had discovered that, in truth, we were dealing with a murder. I had found and captured the prime suspect. And I had saved a life. All in a day's work. And yet, everything in me screamed that something was going wrong. What do you mean? What would... Well, because of the Terror mobster? Promise me, you won't take the law into your own hands. I'd like to think we're not just vigilantes. I want a gun! What the hell? Bang, bang, bang! A fair amount of violence, extortion, and casualty. Laxat, are you okay? I hate detectives. Bang, bang, bang! That you, Smirnoff? You seem agitated. Nightmare? <sighs> yeah, I have a lot of those. Yeah, that makes two of us. Anyway, why don't you go home? In his current condition, Yale's not going anywhere. Besides, we'll take it from here. Listen. Thanks, but that won't be necessary. I can watch Yale on my own. No doubt. I just saw exactly how vigilant you always are. As for what happened yesterday... You promised me you wouldn't intervene. Shit, I broke that promise. If I hadn't intervened, Bobby Yale could be dead. If you had warned me, maybe we could have avoided a heart attack. Anyway, what's done, is done. Are you even allowed to smoke at the hospital? Wait a minute. This is the 1940s. Of course you could smoke in the hospital. Come on. There you go. When, when exactly did you realize that he killed Dunn? I love that animation, and that's pretty cool. Out of sheer curiosity, I'm a cop after all. Bobby Yale killing Joe Dunn. To be honest, I'm not so sure Yale killed anyone. How about the motive? Any ideas? Um... I know Dunn wanted to call the fight off after something Yale did, but I still don't know what. In any case, hopefully Yale will tell us more. Would you let me ask him some questions when he wakes up? 
I know you will, with or without my permission, so I'd rather not feel betrayed. In exchange, drop by the station when you can. Damn. Your investigation could really help my men. Who, by the way, must be waiting for me to interrogate Mary Purnell. Boy, she was hard to pry from Yale's side. She's been through a lot in the past days. Be nice to her. Of course. In spite of it all, we're not just vigilantes. And as for you, go get some rest. God knows you need it. <sighs> Tell me about it. I will. Thanks for the advice. Tell the nurses to look at that face of yours. You look like a film detective in his last scene. I'm afraid this film isn't over yet. For your sake, I hope you're wrong. You're in charge now, officer. Okay. I'll send you relief in six hours, understood? Doctor. Who are... Oh, detective. Congratulations. You fared pretty well against that kid. Better than most would have. <laughs> That's a backhanded compliment. Now, if you'll excuse compliment. me. Do I look like I fared well to you? Yes, let's go and let's go and look at the doctor with his little cheesy we, glasses. As a society, simply don't trust reptiles. But that's not the real problem. The real problem is our extended belief that there's logic to that distrust, that it's natural and well founded. Wow, that's pretty interesting. A minority group being low key racist towards another minority group very hypocritical if you ask me we as a society simply don't trust reptiles but that's not the real problem the real is it because they're always sneaky or something that there's logic to that distrust okay that it's natural and well founded all right let me see if i can find another clue oh is it this palmer How's Yale? Is he awake? Oh yeah. Go check on him before he falls asleep again. Although, have... try not to bother him with too many questions. What's his current condition? Um, it's too soon to tell. He did have a heart attack after all. Hmm. Anyways. What is up with smoking in the hospital? Go away. Bro? I don't want to see you. Cut it the out, doctor Bobby. Doctor told me to sleep. Bobby, cut it out, bro. I rarely get to interrogate a suspect with his guard down in a place as quiet as this. Getting the chance to study his body language with no distractions is a rare gift. I know Bobby Yale is pissed off. I could see in his eyes. He's looking straight at me. If he couldn't hold my stare, I'd think he's lying. But that's not the case. He's just pissed off. His heart rate is increasing. It could mean that he's lying. But it could also just be pure, unadulterated rage. Alright, so... Another one? Right here? He's clenching his fist. A sign of contained anger. Clenched fist. Fast heart rate. Fixed stare. He feels some genuine rage towards me. I'm sorry you don't want to see me, but... I saved your life, son. Maybe my aunt feels gratitude. I certainly don't. Luckily, I just got my medication. I'll be snoozing soon. All right, I'll just cut to the chase. Why did you kill Joe Dunn? What? Are you trying to confuse me? Joe hanged himself. He doesn't even know, does he? Dunn was too short to hang himself with that rope. 
So... It's true? He was murdered? I know the murder weapon was yours. What? The rope? I don't get it. What weapon do you mean? Don't play with me, boy. The chest expander. An expander? I've never had one of those. It was in your locker. What do right. you mean? Let's just say that I... I believe you. The murderer killed Dunn with a chest expander and planted evidence to make us believe it was suicide. But he also left enough clues behind to make sure we found the true murder weapon. Then he put the chest expander box in your locker to frame you. Do you know anyone that twisted and who also happens to have a moat? I... I don't know. Maybe it was... What am I saying? Jake could never pull off something like that. <laughs> Nothing. Never mind. Desmond O'Leary certainly seems twisted enough. Did he have anything against Dunn? I'm not sure if they knew each other. At least not in person. About a month ago, Joe kicked one of O'Leary's men out of the gym. He was trying to give a business card to... Jacob's Diami. Yeah, exactly. Did Jake tell you about that? Something like that. What about Frank Cassidy? Do you think he has a motive? Maybe. A few weeks ago, Joe took me to a boxing manager's association meeting. Headed by Cassidy. Yeah. Hmm. He was obsessed with making it illegal for boxers to fight without a manager. Or without an associated manager. Everyone seemed to go along with it until Joe spoke up. He said that would lower us to mob status. That Cassidy had founded the association just to make money by monopolizing the sport. Damn. That is some that claim. That made others think twice. That is some claim. And Cassidy claim. ended up empty-handed. Poor Cassidy. What about Sonia Dunn? Sonia? I doubt it. She's odd. But she's his daughter. I've seen worse. Believe Doesn't me. Doesn't matter. Black Sad. I think I owe you an, uh... uh you know, my father disappeared when I was six. Right after winning a fight. We never heard from him again. Do you know what that does to a kid? Yeah, Who I can only where imagine. Be Joe Dunn hadn't been in my life. Even when I lost my way and put a gun to his head years later. What? He still took me under his wing and managed to steer me in the right direction. And Bendigo. now that he's gone, you're risking your life to find his murderer. He basically Thanks. lost his second father. Thank you for... He passed out. Bendito. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.